I'm Dr. Rupa Wong. I'm a physician, private practice owner, and mom to three kids. I built a life I love managing medicine and entrepreneurship, and I'm dedicated to empowering the next generation in my field to live the life they love. have always known I wanted to be a physician. I come from a long line of women physicians in my family. My mother is a child psychiatrist. So I saw the embodiment of balancing work and life. I went to Cornell Medical School and I matched into my residency at NYU. I worked during medical school and residency. I had paid off all my med school debt my first year of residency, during which time I met my husband. And then we both went to Boston for fellowship training. During medical school and residency, women were not quite as open about how they were integrating their work and their personal lives. Until I went to Boston and found a department that had a lot of women in their 40s that had kids and I could see how they balanced it all. Now that I'm a working mother, I feel that my life was more fulfilled because I could see that example. I had finished my fellowship and then Boston Children's offered me a job, but my husband was extremely unhappy. To take a boy who's very used to the Hawaii sunshine, you have to deal with 25 degree winters and snow. So I made the decision, let's move to Hawaii. And then we needed a job. There were no jobs. In Hawaii, it's a lot of private practices. So we decided to purchase this practice. The week before we got married, it was so, so scary because it was a completely new world that we basically had to learn on the fly as we were doing it. In medical school, we're taught how to be good doctors, but what they don't teach you is just the general knowledge of being a business owner. My husband had a little bit of savings in the stock market. And so we had that money to put towards the down payment of the purchase of our practice. We had to go to a bank for a loan and then actually the retiring physician gave us another loan at 7% interest for someone that never had debt. That part was very scary to us. We both were people that abhor debt and we moved in July. We found out we were pregnant that weekend and we opened the practice three weeks later. Once we started our practice, there was a big storage room and we made a little nursery in our office. I would just block off times during my patient schedule to nurse the kids. So they grew up in our office. The first six months of the business, we did not draw any salary, but we had very few expenses because we were living rent free at my mother-in-law's and we were using her car. We found a house that we really liked. Then we added a mortgage. We lived with a lot of borrowed furniture for at least six, seven months until we could afford to be able to pay for it in full. We just didn't buy anything. Basically, my husband and I had this foundation of being very financially conservative, but we continued living in that way even once we started drawing a salary. I literally want to be able to pay for my children to go to school, save for college, and have time with them now. Working parenthood, I fundamentally believe, is all about choices. So yes, I sacrifice income for that, but I think that choice for our family is worth it. So we had a couple loans for the business and two mortgages on the house. We could only afford to pay 5% down. We did that in about two years and then paying off our practice loan, which took 10 years and that was huge. We now just have one mortgage. When we purchased the practice, that made me very hyper cognizant of feeling like I needed to always know where the money is in the business or in the house. Like we set budgets and I just make sure that we're staying within them. For so long, we lived so frugally. It was almost like I needed permission from somebody else because I wouldn't give permission to myself. 2016, I bought myself my first fancy purse for my 40th birthday. I feel like I could do that and not risk not paying my children's tuition at their schools. And we just don't get the training to be business owners in medicine. And it's part of why I wanted to start this membership site for younger female pre-meds, med students, residents, because I want to be able to alleviate that fear that I felt 12 years ago for others. And then a group of us started a nonprofit. We had our first conference December of 2019. So we had almost 150 women from all different specialties. It's really about just putting these images out there that surgeons and doctors are mothers as well. And I think once we tell that narrative more and more, there is this synthesis. Being a mother makes me a better physician and being a physician makes me a better mother.